We'll start with a brief tour of the program so you can start learning what the different areas are called and what they do. The event library gives you access to all the source materials you're using in your projects. Notice that the names of all connected hard drives are listed here. When you're ready to add video clips or music or graphics, you'll create a new event on the hard drive of your choice, and that's where Final Cut will save those clips. Click on the name of an event to see its contents. This view can be customized in a couple ways, but right now I have it set to show source materials from newest to oldest. The project library lists the actual edited projects that you're working on. Again, these are sorted in the library by their location on hard drives. Double click on any project to see its timeline and start working on it. From Timeline View, press the Project Library button to go back to the library. Whether you're playing a project from the timeline or looking at a clip in the event library, you'll be watching it in the same window, the viewer. The inspector is just to the right of the viewer. Turn the inspector on and off using the button just below it. It shows details about the video clip or graphic or audio or title or transition that you most recently clicked on. It's used to make all kinds of adjustments, including uh, typing in titles, analyzing audio, and adjusting color. You can access titles, transitions, filters, and more using the browsers to the right of the timeline. Most browsers provide quick previews of their contents. To see an example of this, open the Transitions browser. Hover the mouse over any transition and drag left and right to see a preview in the viewer of how that transition will look. Do the same in the Titles browser to get a quick look at Final Cut's built-in animated titles. Look for the time counter right in the middle of the interface here. This will show time code in either events or projects. There's a small audio level meter here as well. Click it to open up a larger version of the audio meters to the right of the timeline and browsers.